Hello again everybody. Today I'm going to show you an interactive card trick that was inspired by the latest Scam School episode where Diamond Jim Tyler and Brian Brushwood show a mind-blowing card trick to three spectators. You guys can check out the Scam School episode. The link is right here. It's also in the description box below. Uh, but what I'd like you to do now is go grab a deck of cards, pause the video, not in that order, pause the video, go grab a deck of cards, come back and I will show you this interactive card trick. Okay, what I need you to do first is remove the jokers. So go through the deck and take out the two jokers. If a joker is selected, uh, the trick will not work. Oh, by the way, this is the Compass 822 deck that never went into production because there were not enough pre-orders, the faceless face cards. Okay, so you've gotten rid of the jokers. Now, you can give the cards a little shuffle if you like. It really doesn't matter because I can't see. And reach in and select any card you want, flip it over, and set it down in front of you. Now take the rest of the deck, turn it sideways, and what I'd like you to do is try and divide the deck into three equal sections. So, so as close to a third, a third, a third as possible. So I'm going to set them down, set down the three thirds just like that. And now, one of the most annoying things in card tricks is when the trick is done, if you say to the spectator, now what was your card? And they say, I forgot. So, do you remember what the card was that you set down over here? I believe mine was the Four of Clubs. Take another look at your card so you remember it. Now turn it over. So we want to get this ingrained in your brain. So what I want you to do now is select any one of the three piles. I'm going to take the middle pile and set it on top of your card. Now I want you to spell your card. I'm going to spell four of clubs and then place the rest of the pile on top. You spell whatever card you, your card is and then place the rest of the pile on top. So I'm going to spell F-O-U-R-O-F-C-L-U-B-S and set the rest of the cards on top. You spell your cards and are you ready? Okay. Next, we're going to take these two piles right over here and we're going to select a random card from these two piles. So we'll take this card right over here, the Nine of Diamonds. So you've selected a card that's not the Nine of Diamonds, most probably. Whatever card you selected using your first pile again, I want you to spell that card and then set the rest of the cards on top. I'm going to spell Nine of Diamonds, you spell your card. N-I-N-E-O-F-D-I-A-M-O-N-D-S and set the rest of the cards on top. Okay, now this was just a distraction to see if I can make you forget your card. Do you remember what your card was? I remember mine was the Four of Clubs. If you remember what your card was, I want you to spell it again. So I'm going to spell Four of Clubs. You spell your card. F-O-U-R-O-F-C-L-U-B-S and set the rest of the cards on top. Okay, so now let's recap. You selected a card divided the deck into three sections, spelled your card, selected another random card, spelled that card, and here we are right now. And if everything worked out and you followed instructions the right way, turn over this card and it should be the card that you originally selected. And mine is the Four of Clubs and yours should be the card you selected as well. Let me know. So, if you follow these instructions, this trick will work every time. It's really a cool trick. You can actually do this over the phone to a relative. Uh, friend, uh, you don't have to be with them as long as you explain to them exactly how to do this. It will always work as long as you have three piles that should have 16, 17, 18, or 19 cards. Try and get to as close as a third, as third, a third as possible, and it will work. So that's it. Check out Scam School. I really like the trick performed to three people. Let me know what you think. I'll see you next time.